Hiya. I'm David, the wandering ponderer. I'm back down the river, and as the title has already given it away, today we're going to have a look at Jurassic Kogashu. The riverside is the best place to begin our look. It's pretty still, there's not much of a flow on today. But this is beautiful round here. Underground, if you dig down, you can go back in time in different layers because over the years, every, every annual amount of vegetation and growth dies off and it falls to the ground and decomposes and eventually becomes soil. As we know, anybody who knows, who does a bit of gardening, knows all about compost. And if you, if you remember back year, many years ago, we used to burn coal, what well, we still do now, but where they, they find coal is quite deep underground. And the coal that we find in these places is basically just dead trees, dead wood that's been lying underground, compressed to coal. You don't need a history lesson to know these things. These are things that we were taught at school. But in Essex, where we are now, this is the River Blackwater. Uh, it says in here, the glacial till derived from the Anglian glaciers occurs widely across the country northwards of a rough line from um, Brentwood through Chelmsford to Colchester. So this is the River Blackwater, it says <coughs> that um, there are deposit, deposits are significant around the River Blackwater Valley because the soil is sandy around this area, hence we have quarries digging up sand and gravel. And how deep they go down? Well, they go down to sound and gravel. They go down to the time of the Ice Age. The Jurassic times was before. At the end of the Jurassic period, the Ice Age was triggered by a large natural disaster. And it does say that um, there was a, a large volcanic eruption. And we know what kills the dinosaurs. They say that it was mainly um, something that hit the earth. Um, this is all theory. This is all theory. But if you remember, during that time, the landmass, we didn't have countries separated like we have now. They were all joined together because of the, the continental drift, which hadn't quite occurred. I'm not going to go into the continental drift, but just to say that because of that, our climate here, in what we call now the UK, and what we call now here, in this very spot, Coggeshall, was vastly different. So during Jurassic times, it's no surprising to find such creatures as this. These are your typical things that you think of when you think of dinosaurs and Jurassic, mainly because of the 
films and as I'm speaking now there is a, a new Jurassic Park movie come that's come out but let me just show you during those times this river probably wasn't here but there could have been because of the amount of sand and everything that we find there could have been large amounts of water around the area some possibly in Essex possibly ocean and we know that not far from us not far at all from where we are in Coggeshall we've got Clacton we've got seaside resorts so some of the dinosaurs that like like to feed on oceanic creatures and things like that would swim up rivers and creatures like this show you the Spinosaurus crocodiles go back all the way to Jurassic period and probably before and they even survive today and there's some say that they're the last surviving uh, dinosaurs Other people say the birds that we've got now are more akin to the dinosaur species. Jurassic Coggeshall didn't contain human beings. To walk around in Jurassic times as a human being probably <laughs> would not be a wise thing. There'd be too many things that would kill you. Mankind didn't turn up until much later. And I'll put up a chart for you, which you can blow up, zoom in on, and you'll see. Jurassic Coggeshall. Coggeshall's earliest, well, some of the earliest residents were dinosaurs. And some might say there are a few around today in Coggeshall. I can't comment on that because uh, some people would class me as a dinosaur. Walking around with some dinosaurs that had fur, which is a recent discovery that they've discovered some dinosaurs that have fur. You can see them out foraging and walking. And imagine, up on the crest of the rocks above. The good old Tyrannosaurus rex. Beautiful creatures. We don't know it precisely exactly what they look like in reality. Um, they've been pieced together. The image of them has been gathered from looking at the uh, fossilized remains. But look at the vegetation. Look at all this. You know, you could see perhaps the head of a, a dinosaur or two appear in the in the undergrowth there and swimming down the river but there was a river here and then down to bedrock you know the ice age they broke down a lot of the rocks and war because the ice age lasted for for millions of years. 
but imagine walking along a beach you've already seen a picture of somebody that looks a bit like me walking walking the uh, Jurassic version of a dog <laughs> I'll put it back up there you see. Dino <laughs> It's a common mistake in, uh, in literature and, and things like that to actually include cavemen and cave women with the dinosaurs on lots of films. But according to archaeologists and people that are in the no scientific community, that the dinosaurs happened and were around long before man turned up. So man was around in the saber-toothed tiger era and the woolly mammoth era, but not during the actual dinosaurs. This is where I'm going to leave you with this. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And uh, look after yourself. Remember, like the dinosaurs, we're only here for a short while. Stay safe and I'll see you in another video.